Hello everyone, we're back. And we have our four productivity module threes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick all of this up uh, because I don't want any further drain on our resources. Um, right now the, uh, I cut our power, but uh, right now the circuits are running low. Uh, red circuits are not producing very quickly. Um, green circuits are not producing very quickly because uh, we're running low on copper. Well, I wouldn't say we're running low, but we're not, uh, we're not bringing in as much as we need. So you can see here on the green circuit area, um, we're not quite getting enough copper up to the top there. That's slowing down the production of the circuits. When you start running low on green circuits, then you start running low on red circuits, as we can see here, and uh, it gets to be a bit of a mess. Now, maybe one thing we could do is we could try splitting off a whole green circuit line up there and see if that helps improve the situation. So why don't we go and do that here quickly. Um, we want to make sure that we don't starve the rest of the build by um, by cutting down on the on the green circuits, but if we just do that, uh, we can see if that results in an improvement up here with the red circuit production without starving everything further downstream. So basically these two green circuit lines now are just two, two halves of one red belt. Uh, they could really be yellow belts at that point. Um, but this obviously fills out the, uh, the green circuit production quite well now. Um, now another way we could do this would be like this. Okay, uh, which effectively does the same thing, but I like this a little bit better because what we're doing is we're pulling a half of each of these two belts and then combining those into one belt. All right, so we'll always have uh, at least one full belt, but then it, when this belt gets backed up and it doesn't need as much, then all the excess green circuits on both of these belts will continue to pass through. So I like this better rather than having one of the belts only go up here because if one belt goes up here, then you're guaranteeing that only half of your green circuits will get past it. Whereas in this case, more than half could get past it if they're not needed uh, in the red circuit area. Okay. So, um, now that we've got our modules, let's go ahead and load those up here. So we'll open this up. We'll put in two, three, four productivity module threes. We can see now energy consumption has leapt to 16.7 megawatts. Wow. That's pretty huge. And we're not even making anything with it yet. Um, but we can see that the productivity is plus 40% now, which is, uh, which is a nice boost. Oh, uh, the other thing to note, crafting speed now is 60% slower. So the productivity modules uh, not only give you more energy consumption, but they also slow down the machine. So what you'll see a lot of times are, well, you know, like in the large bases where you're using modules, um, what most people do is they'll fill the production machines with productivity modules, and then they'll put beacons around it with speed modules to get the speed back up um, because you can't use productivity modules and beacons. Uh, so that way you can have your speed and get the productivity bonus as well. Okay. Um, and I have a few productivity modules left over. Um, 
I don't really have a need for those right now, but uh, perhaps later we will find some other use for them. Right now I don't want to slow anything else down, so. All right, so uh, next I want to start making the ingredients for the rockets. Um, let's take a look at these coal patches. That one's 724, 889, that one is 3.5 million, okay. So I think we're going to go up there. What I'd like to do is uh, start producing rocket fuel. And rocket fuel, you can see, takes 10 solid fuel. And we already know that we have several ways to make solid fuel. We can make it with heavy oil, with petroleum, or with light oil. Now, um, one of the problems we have right now uh, on this map is that we don't have a lot of oil available. Um, so rather than put additional strain on the already anemic uh, oil situation, I decided that we will use coal liquefaction to produce the solid fuel, uh, which is why I'm coming over here to this coal patch. All right, so that way uh, with coal liquefaction, uh, which is something that I've already researched, uh, if you haven't researched it yet, please do so. Um, coal liquefaction will allow you to turn coal into oil products. And we'll take a look at the recipes here uh, in just a moment. As soon as I clear a few trees. Okay. So here's the coal liquefaction recipe. Uh, if we take a look, we can see that 10 coal and 25 heavy oil will give us uh, and 50 steam will give us 35 heavy oil, 15 light oil, and 20 petroleum. Now, once we have the oils and the petroleum, we know what to do with it at that point. We can start converting all that to solid fuel. Um, so we can see that coal is an input, steam is an input. Uh, we can make steam with the same boilers that we use for our electricity. Um, and then the heavy oil, uh, you can see that we take 25 heavy oil as an input but one of our outputs is 35. So once this gets started, it produces enough heavy oil to keep itself going, and then some. Uh, but what we'll have to do is we'll have to give it some heavy oil to get started. Um, and I'll show you how we do that here in a few minutes. So to begin with, uh, let's just start by mining lots of coal. Now we have iron ore here too, so we wanna make sure that we get our mining drills clear of the iron ore. Um, when you hover over the, uh, the mining drill, if you look at expected resources, that'll tell you what is underneath it. So we just want to move it until we only see coal, which would put it right about there. So I'll pick that one up. Um, and I, to be honest, I'm really not sure how much we are going to need. Yeah, there's another little patch of iron right there that we need to watch out for. We just don't want to get it mixed together. All right, so I'll just put that drill up there. Okay, so we'll start with we'll start with this many mining drills, and uh, we can always add more later if we find that it's not sufficient. Uh, let's make a radar so we can see what's going on over here. And we'll put that right there and let there be light. Okay. All right. So we've got our coal. Let's bring this down here. And we'll just combine the two yellows into one red. Uh, if you recall, uh, one red belt has the equivalent throughput as two yellow belts. Oh, hurt myself there. Let's make another repair pack so I can fix the damage that I'm doing here. Okay, so now that we have the coal, 
Um, I've made five oil refineries. Uh, I'm not, again, I'm not really sure if this is the, you know, the right quantity for us, but uh, we'll find out here pretty soon. Let me clear out some more trees here. Get rid of the rocks. There we go. I love these upgraded grenades. All right. So we'll just set it up with five refineries and we'll make adjustments as as necessary. Okay, so we'll set the coal liquefaction recipe. And we'll give it some power. And we'll give it some light. bring this coal line down. Um, I want to make sure that I give myself room here. So yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is we'll run the coal line like that. Now this takes five seconds. We need 10 coal in five seconds so we can use we can use yellow inserters for that. All right, and then I'll do I'll do an underground pipe like this for the steam. And we'll connect these together like that. And then we'll put, let's see, what's the best way to set this up? I'm not, again, I, I'm, I'm not sure how many boilers we need. Um, so maybe we can just, I'm not sure if that will feed into the boiler if I put the inserters like that. Let's try it. No, that doesn't work. Okay. Um, all right, let's do it like this. can have no that's not gonna work either is it all right so I think I need to have I can put the boilers like this and I'll start with three I think that'll be enough okay and then we'll just split the coal down this side like that, and we can use burner inserters. So we'll make three of those. All right, uh, I should have given myself a little more room here because we need to have water come in here as well. All right, and conveniently have some water close by so let's make an under offshore pump rather and uh, bring that in steam and we have coal so now all we need is oil um, 
All right, so let's get in our car to make this go a little faster here. <clears throat> now for oil, um, obviously we don't have any to begin with, so you have to prime coal liquefaction with some oil in order to get it started. Um, and it's pretty easy to do. All we have to do is head down to our, oops, let's watch out for those pipes, head down to our oil area and um, we'll start by making one empty barrel. One is all it takes. And we're just gonna barrel up a little bit of heavy oil. Okay, so if I put that right there and the recipe that I'm gonna give it is fill heavy oil barrel. Then I just rotate that so it connects with my pipe I give it the empty barrel and we wait for it to fill up. Okay, while we're waiting for that, I am going to make a couple of storage tanks. I already have some pumps. I might need more chemical plants. Yeah, let's make, I'll just make all the chemical plants that I can. Okay, and now we have one barrel of heavy oil. So we'll take this back over there uh, where we're gonna reverse the process and empty the barrel into those machines. How are we doing on petroleum? Not so good, we're running low again. Uh, I suspect we're just not bringing in oil fast enough. Yeah, see if these storage tanks are empty then you know that we're, we're sucking up the oil just as fast as we can pump it out of the ground. Um, so we might, we might need to do some more coal liquefaction, uh, to bring more petroleum into our base. All right. Where did I leave my car? Here it is. Uh, just FYI, if you have a car and you left it someplace, if you look at the map, you look for that triangle, um, that red and white triangle, that'll tell you where your vehicles are. I, I think it works for tanks as well. If you, uh, forget where you left it. All right, so let's head back over there. Again, hopefully without destroying anything. Um, there is a mod that will allow you to snap the direction of your vehicle travel so that you can get it to go straight up and down or straight east-west. All right. Okay, so now we need to connect our heavy oil output. So what I'll do is bring some pipe out here. All right, now this is going to be a problem for us because when I put a pipe here, uh, I'm gonna mix water in with the steam. So let's just get rid of that boiler and we'll see if we can survive with two boilers. If not, we'll add more that way. Okay, so this is our heavy oil line. All right, and then we'll connect our outputs as well. So let's get Put one on the heavy oil, and then this needs to be hooked up to the same line. All right, and we need, we need our output to loop back into the input. Okay, so to do that, I'll just extend this out a bit, bring that back here, and that loops back in, okay. Now to begin with, um, I just want to get one machine going. So I'm going to isolate this one on the input side to start with. All right, so we're going to set this recipe now to empty the heavy oil barrel. And again, uh, rotate it so that it's connected. Give it some power. And then we'll put our barrel of oil in there. And that empties it out. 
Okay, and we can see that now this is running and we can pick that up. So we don't need that anymore as long as we continue to have heavy oil in the system. Okay, and clearly we gave it enough to get everything started. Um, and we can, we'll be able to see that these pipes will start to fill up with heavy oil as they, uh, as they run. Okay, so now we need to uh, take care of the outputs of the other products, which we'll do just like we did with basic and advanced oil. So we'll connect our light oil outputs like that. And then we'll connect our petroleum outputs like that. And then uh, we'll put these into tanks. Now, in the case of the heavy oil coming out, No, this is fine. All right, let's do this. Okay. Um, no, I don't want to pull it out there. I want to make sure it gets to our input before anything else. So let's let's put our heavy oil storage tank. here uh, to make sure that the heavy oil comes out goes into all the inputs first before it goes into storage okay and then the, the petroleum and the light oil we can we can put out here okay so there's light oil, and then I'll do the petroleum over here. Okay, 15, that's the last one we're gonna be able to do for a while. Okay, so now this should be going full speed. Looks good, actually it looks like we're not getting the coal in there fast enough, so let's Let's put fast inserters on these. I may have miscalculated. Oh, in fact, did I miscalculate? Five seconds, 10 coal. Well, I should be able to do that with a yellow. But anyway, this is running fine. Um, let's check this one at the end for steam. Okay, that looks good. It looks like steam is not a problem with just the two boilers that we have up there. So I think we'll be okay. All right. So um, next we want to start cracking. Now the excess heavy oil, I want to crack into light oil. So, but I want to make sure that we always have enough to keep these machines running. We don't want to use, we don't want to suck up all the heavy oil. So this takes 25 as an input. I have five of those, that's 125. All right, so let's say that as long as we have more than 500 heavy oil in here, we can go ahead and crack it into light. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a pump there. I'm gonna make another one of those red circuit wires. And I'm gonna connect that to the pump. So when you connect a wire to a tank, uh, you're going to read the quantity of whatever is in the tank. And then we connect that to our pump. All right. And then we're going to tell the pump to enable itself. Go to fluids. If heavy oil is greater than 500. Okay. And then we give that some electricity. And we'll put a light there. All right, so we can see, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see a little green light on there. So that means that the pump is currently activated uh, because it's obviously got more than 500 in there. Okay, and then we will have that. Uh, let's 
check which side it needs to go on. We were going to crack heavy to light. Yeah, unfortunately, that's not the side that we want. Uh, all right, so let's turn it like this. All right, heavy to light. We need to give it water and heavy oil. The heavy oil, obviously, we have taken care of. Uh, we just need to get some water over here. We'll put another power pole. Let's just check our power. Yeah, we're still doing fine. Okay, uh, now, fortunately, uh, water is already available to us. So let's get that hooked up. All right, I've got just enough to clear that, which is great. Um, I wonder, yeah, I can pass water through the boilers. That's pretty cool. All right, and now we're cracking. Okay, and then we want the output to go into our light oil storage tank. So let's just hook that up. We'll bring it down here and run it across. There we go. Okay, so we can see light oil and petroleum are starting to accumulate. The heavy oil should be decreasing. I may need more machines than this. Uh, we're taking 40 heavy oil every three seconds. Uh, we have a crafting speed of 1.25, so it's <clears throat> so it's actually a little bit less than three seconds. We consume 40 heavy oil. These produce 25, or no, I'm sorry, they produce 35 every five, but then they take 25 back. So net, they produce 10 heavy oil every five seconds times five. That's about 10 heavy oil per second. This consumes more than 10 per second. So this should be enough to gradually drain this tank down to 500 and then the pump will stop and it'll just wait until it gets enough to keep going. So one machine here is, is enough to work with this. All right, so now let's set up the solid fuel production. So we'll use, we'll, at this point we wanna convert all the light fuel or all the light oil to solid fuel and all the petroleum to solid fuel as well. So let's start to set that up. Uh, and we can start with the light oil. And we'll just set it up like this. And we'll give it four to begin with. That's not spaced properly. Okay, so this is gonna be light oil to solid fuel. Now this takes three seconds and it uses 10 light oil. Let's see how much light oil we're making. Uh, we're making 15, here we're making 15 per second because we have five of these machines, 15 every five seconds. So we're making 15 per second. These consume about three and a third per second. So four times 3.3 .3 is 12. That's a, it's, yeah, so I think four is gonna be enough to consume the light oil as fast as it can be produced. All right, I'm just gonna connect those with a solid run of pipe. Let's get that power connected here. Okay. Um, and this just makes one every three seconds. So, uh, so here a yellow inserter will be sufficient. OK, 
Okay. And then on the other side. We'll make solid fuel from petroleum. Now this takes twice as much. Uh, this takes 20 petroleum rather than 10 light oil. Uh, and that's and that's why I said earlier that if you make solid fuel, um, the best material to make it with is light oil, just because it's uh, a more efficient way to do so. But since we don't have any other use for the petroleum that we're producing over here, uh, we're gonna convert all that into solid fuel as well. Oops, all right, so let's get that hooked up. Okay, now petroleum, we are producing 20 per second. Yeah, so again, I think, actually I think three here. Three machines making solid fuel from petroleum will be enough to consume all of it. Okay, let's take a look at our heavy oil tank. All right, so here we can see that it's got less than 500 now. So if we keep an eye on this, uh, once it creeps over 500 oil, then the pump will turn on momentarily until it dips below. If we look at the light, yeah, you can just see it just blink on just for a microsecond. <laughs> right, so this is, uh, this is not gonna be running at full speed by any means. It'll It'll run for a second and then it'll shut off and then it'll run again. All right, but that's working fine. Uh, the light oil, 9.8K, I can't tell if it's going down or not. Well, I suppose it's increasing because we need to start doing something with the solid fuel. So <clears throat> with this setup, we're making, uh, we've got eight machines, three seconds each. So we're making solid fuel about two, two and a half per second. Um, we might want to scale this up. Um, but in any case, uh, let's start converting the solid fuel into rocket fuel. Um, I don't want to run into this, so I think I will... What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down and we'll run it this way. All right, so let's clear out some trees. Try to stand far enough away that I don't blow myself up. Okay. And then what we'll do is We'll split this. Like that. Okay, and let's set this up so that we have, well, let's say 10 on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so these are going to be making rocket fuel. And rocket fuel takes 10 solid fuel and 30 seconds. So, um, you know, as, as careful as I was with all the ratios to make the science packs, um, you can see that I haven't, I haven't planned out the ratios for the rocket parts. Um, just because, uh, you know, the goal here is just to make one rocket. So if, if I don't have my ratios perfect to do that, uh, it's not a big deal. It, uh, it's not gonna bother me. Um, if this was going to be a game where I was going to be doing many rocket launches, like you would with a, with a large base, then I would obviously want to plan that out more carefully. 
Okay, so let's give this some power. Okay, actually we can just bring the pole there. Oh, and we need some inserters, obviously. Uh, we can use yellow inserters on the inputs and the outputs. Gradually start making rocket fuel. Um, and then we want to belt this out and over to our rocket base. So let's uh, figure out where we need that belt to go. Take that straight up. It needs to go down right there. on that uh, and let's get some power over there let's see I'm just gonna try to make a pleasing pattern here screwed up my pleasing pattern already. Should have moved this over by one. Okay, so we can see that it's going to start loading up uh, the rocket fuel. Um, now, this will stop once there's 20 in there because that's enough for two parts. The rocket fuel will continue to accumulate but I don't necessarily want to slow down the production here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, put a chest um, and that way uh, we can just, we can accumulate the rocket fuel while we're setting up the, the other components for the rocket parts. Um, I know a lot of it will collect on the belts, uh, but these stack in tens, so even a full chest is not gonna hold a whole lot. All right, so that's going to do it for this episode. Um, in the next episode, we will start working on the other components. Um, I think we can do the low density structures next. Those take steel, copper, and plastic. Uh, so that'll be fairly easy to set up. Uh, in fact, we might even be able to do rocket control units as well uh, in one episode because uh, low density structures are not going to be hard to set up since we already have all that stuff on the bus. Um, so we'll get into that next time. Uh, in the meantime, uh, homework. I'm going to see what I can do about getting some more oil. Um, we've got, you know, another couple of oil wells over here. I don't really see. Ah, here we go. Here we go. So this is what I need. 4540. Lots of oil over there. So what I'm going to do... Uh, for the next episode is I am going to set up a train to collect oil from here and bring it over to where we're making petroleum. Um, it's a little bit time consuming to do that. Actually, what, and in fact, what I'll do is I'll bring it over here and empty it into this tank since I already have a pipeline running over there. So I'll just set up a, a very simple train that runs from here to there. Uh, I will set it up as homework and then I will show it to you because uh, it is a little time consuming just to lay all the rails, um, but it's not difficult at all. And then, uh, and then I'll explain how the train works after it's been set up. I'll see you then. Thanks a lot, bye-bye. <laughs>